Yo, I thought this cup said fuck me up. No, it says pick me up. Pick me up. If you flip the P over, it could look like a D. Then it would say dick me up. <laughs> wow, this is the first time this has ever happened. What? That we've sat down and nothing. Yeah, it's called a cold open because it sucks. <laughs> Podcast. This is today's free episode. If you want this episode ad-free and an extra bonus episode, you can find out right now on Patreon.com. Holy fuck! Can you get a clip of that? Do your hit and get hit by that car. The mystery of the flying saucers may soon be solved. If you've never smoked weed at literal Woodstock, you're not a stoner. Goodbye. The Army Air Forces has announced that a flying disc has been found and is now in the possession of the Army. Ah, oh, gay as fuck. I'm trying to get my RC The so-called flying stuff. Look at all these fucking chickens. Malone Brown, you hear this whole? No. Malone Brown dick in your mouth? <laughs> no! 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 Please look at all the signs. Fashion your seatbelt and get ready for the base. Hello, everyone. Welcome to another riveting episode of the TMG Podcast. We have a big, bold, massive announcement. Okay, it's got nothing to do with Blue Chew. <laughs> <laughs> Let me put this big announcement in your guys' ears real yeah. quick. We're doing another Moment House show. Mm. Do you not know what that is? Sorry. This big, bold announcement is probably jamming your eardrum. Let me pull it out a little bit and slide it in slower. If you missed TMG Live in Space last time, you're an idiot. But you have a chance <laughs> to redeem yourself and get a ticket this time. And this time is more exciting than the last because is it the same show? No. No, it's not the same show. It's an even better show. Dare I say we one-upped ourselves. Yeah. We really did. I underwent medical treatment. Okay, I had to see my PT because we went so damn hard. I cannot wait for you guys to see what we did. If you guys liked the last one with mm -hmm. the cringe and the sword fighting... Uh, what we've already shot for this one is, I think, way better. I, mean, I yeah. hope it's way better. It felt way better. No, nah, it was, it's way better just because, oh, man. I, I can't wait because then we can actually talk about it. Yeah. Either way, it's 5 p.m. October 14th. Uh, that's 5 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, okay? If you studied the gold rush about California, that's the time zone we're working in. California time zone, Pacific yeah. time. Um, little little zone of the earth I like to call Western time, but you know. But that's here's just the thing: me. it doesn't really matter. No, it doesn't. It doesn't matter because if you buy a ticket for it, then you can watch it for 24 hours afterwards. Yeah. So it really doesn't matter. Yeah. Um. So get a ticket because this one is going to be. If you saw the last one, it was fucking crazy and so much fun, mm -hmm. so much fun, and we're going to have even more fun this yeah. time now that we kind of know what we're doing. And you know, they'll, they'll, we'll have your favorites here. Spock will be here to kick it off with some some beautiful tunes, and we're gonna have some very random guests. That that much I can say. Yeah, yeah, it's gonna be a very strange batch of guests. So don't miss it. Momenthouse.com/slash Tiny Meat Gang. Buy a ticket, uh, and if you saw the last one, you should be getting a nice little something in your email. That's all I can say. Oh yeah, you look, you get a little discount. Yeah, if you bought a ticket for the last one. Yeah, so. That's that's uh, that's our Ralph's Rewards membership. That's our version of that. <laughs> it's the Tiny Meat Rewards. You, were <laughs> yeah. I'm just not going to go further on. <laughs> Ralph's Rewards membership is probably the worst thing. <laughs> I think you could have compared it to. It's not like that at all. <laughs> also, like the it's like getting a DM for... from your crush. That's what it's like. It's like getting a DM from your work crush. It's like the bed bath. <laughs> It's like the Bed Bath & Beyond reward system, basically, is what I'm trying to say. Literally the worst one. Do you know anything about it? Don't even get me started on that reward system. Why? They issue out... Well, first, before I talk shit about Bed Bath & Beyond, uh, make sure you buy a ticket. We hope to see you there. Um, Momenthouse.com slash tiny meat gang. It's going to be a little spooky, too. Yeah. It is You know, it is Halloween time, and we, we're going to make sure that that's... Um, Honored in some Honored, way. yeah. Yeah, so Bed Bath & Beyond reward system is so, it's so reckless and dumb. Basically, they mail out 20% off coupons. It may not be like this anymore, but okay. when I was working there, they mail out these coupons, and then 
you could get them. And then they weren't like one-time use because the cash register system was this old DOS system. Okay. <laughs> so you could scan it and then you would take it from the person. But if someone showed up, they had like this weird policy where if you showed up and they go, oh, do you have any extra 20% off? I lost mine in the mail. You just pull out the one you just took from the other person and scan it again. Like from the trash? No, you, you had to like keep them in a drawer. Okay. They like they would recollect them. It was the most bonehead <laughs> corporation ever. Right. And yeah, you just pull one out from like the quote used pile and just scan it again. And then that person would get a discount. Hmm. It was, I mean, I'm certain that if I just scanned like five different ones, it probably would have just zeroed out the whole total. <laughs> like, just, then you have to pay that money? Yeah. Oh, basically. fuck, I did one too many. It's like <laughs> minus 80 bucks. You're your like, total well. is plus 4173. <laughs> Enjoy <laughs> your free Dyson. <laughs> And Holy scented fuck. sticks. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's horseshit. Honestly, all those reward systems are kind of bullshit. They are. Like every grocery store, you go there and they're like, what's your number? And you're like, can you just enter one? And they're like, sure. They scan yeah. it. It's like, yeah. What the fuck is the point of this? I always feel like kind of a G, though, when you're like, would you mind doing one for me? Yeah. Huh? <laughs> you know? Some like six-year-old woman. Six-year-old woman? 60. I said 60. <laughs> I said 60. I kind of slurred it. Some six-year-old. We're gonna need, bro. With the way inter the internet is now, we need like instant replays on things. <laughs> there just needs to be like a cancellation referee on all lo <laughs> like recorded forms of media. Fuck, we should actually <clears throat> like install that. What instant? Like replay? have sort of some sort of system where we can be like, can we get a replay on that? <laughs> and it's like cancellation replay, <laughs> and just right away we can watch ourselves <laughs> and go, yeah, oh, it yeah. did sound like six. Yeah. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> booth review on your comedy yeah. just do stand up and you say some shit ref blows a whistle brrr, red flag on stage like what 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 <laughs> booth review yep uh, ruling on the field is that did sound like you wanted to fuck a six year old <laughs> we're gonna walk the set three minutes back let's take that joke again <clears throat> so Come yeah. on, we can have a little fun here, huh? <laughs> what, Bruce can have a little Bruce, fun? Bruce can have a little bit of fun? Come on. Can have a little... Can I have do all little... your motherfucking taxes, all right? You know how hard that is? Can have a little pedophile bit? What's wrong with Come that? Come on. I can't promo blue chew, so what? I use this stuff all the time. <laughs> Very sad that my... Never mind, I'll just leave it alone. What? I'm sad my extremely correct takes about Certified Lover Boy distracted everyone from the fun that was Bruce D'Amelio. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. Yeah, man. People are pissed about that. <sighs> it's okay. <laughs> it's like literally fine. Yeah, it is okay. Here's the best thing about, you know, there's a, this philosophy that's like, you know, don't read comments. I think that's wrong. I think... Sometimes it's good to read comments because when you read some comments, you realize, oh, everyone's fucking stupid. Yeah. Like some comments remind you like, oh, we're all dumb here. Yeah. Yeah. We, yeah. Yeah. That, that's your. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Everyone's fucking stupid. <laughs> yeah, I would agree. <laughs> I like, like, I like when people do homework in the comments. It's like a nine paragraph dissertation. It's like, man. Yeah. There's no extra credit here. Yeah. <laughs> that was just for you. See, I read every comment. Yeah. And then I translate them to Spanish and read those. Mm. <laughs> I read every single one. I mean, I just, you know, I think I understood why people were upset at a thing I think I didn't articulate very well. Academics put it so poetically. Drake is the McDonald's of music. Mm -hmm. So I think what you I was- You just quoted academics? <laughs> I mean, it's a great quote. <laughs> It's very true. Did you see that screenshot of him falling asleep to listening yeah. to it for the first time yeah. on stream? <laughs> yeah. It's so fucking funny. I, but to, to triple down, where I was coming from was, you know, it, it, it's true. Like, I watched some other review of Certified Lover Boy, and, and the critique was like, oh, it's not like Drake is playing a character. He's completely 180'd from who he was and this and that. It's like, yeah. But what the guy kept referring to him as like a global superstar. I'm like, that is true. What, what, very few things can be globally impactful. Right. 
McDonald's is one of the only things you see literally everywhere. Mm -hmm. What else? KFC. Yep. KFC is in Europe, mm -hmm. Thailand. That shit is everywhere. Oh, it's so good in Southeast Asia. It's so much it's better. It's amazing. It's so, yeah, wait. So better. much better. It's impressive. Why, why do they suck so hard here? They're like the sixth best fried chicken mm -hmm. in the States. No, more than that. Wait. Every, every like, like area of the States has like at least five that are better. Eating KFC feels like eating girl, you're a lesbian, me too. <laughs> As food. Sick line, by the way. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> See, what are people? What were people mad at you at? Oh, people were upset because um, for two things. One, of uh, me saying that, oh, you can't have an opinion if you don't like something. I that was poorly phrased. <laughs> it was just more like, I guess I, I kind of what this this is actually goes back to the point I was originally trying to make is. You're just complaining about McDonald's. Like, you know the integrity is not there. You know the shit is heavily processed. Yeah, you know yeah, that it's yeah. just designed for basic consumption. It's yeah. not meant for deeper thought. And that's the trade-off I think Drake made to be Drake. Yeah. Is, yeah, he's a global superstar and he has to serve fucking French fries. Yeah. So if, yeah. You, if you want that, you know, Michelin star, intelligent, you know, pointed piece of art i just don't think he's the guy that's then gonna go do to that. donda go to donda but you know who's winning on the charts who drake i know yeah yeah he sold like a hundred thousand more than kanye right yeah first week yep because it's mcdonald's <clears throat> it's mcdonald's and mcdonald's is delicious yeah it is really good <laughs> Double quarter pound. Now that that's I mean, that's not to, that's not to say people's critiques of him are wrong. Sorry, I just had to throw. No, that I was there. just like like I just zoning out. Nuggets. And, yeah, keep going. I mean, I'll I'll get a Big Mac from there any day of the week. Yeah. You, I you mean McFlur McFlurry. McFlur? I almost just said McFlur. Like just because I get them so much. Yeah. That that's what I call them. It's just the inner Venice in you coming out. Yeah. <laughs> I love eating a McFlurr after I get powder. <laughs> so fucking so you get a McFlurr out of so you gas so a little girl. Oreo McFlurr. Oreo. Uh, I had Oreo McFlurr. I was out in uh, <laughs> fucking uh, doing big wave out in uh, <laughs> Nazare. Right? I have McFlurr in Nazare. Certified though. surfer, boy. Oh, I was just that Garrett McNamara documentary while eating my McFlurry. It was so sad. <laughs> hey, guys. We want to take a quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, DoorDash. More time at home has meant more delicious home-cooked meals. But if you're tired of your own recipes because they suck, let someone else handle the cooking. Change things up tonight with DoorDash. DoorDash connects you with restaurants you love right now and right to your door. Ordering is easy. Open the DoorDash app, choose what you want from where you want, and your items will be left safely outside your door with contactless delivery drop-off setting. With tens of thousands of restaurants across Canada, you can support your neighborhood go-tos or choose your favorite national restaurants like McDonald's, Popeye's, a and and Tim Hortons. With <clears throat> hundreds of restaurants in almost every province and territory, you might find a new one, a new favorite too. And for a limited time, our listeners get 25% off and zero delivery fees on their first order of $15 or more when you download the DoorDash app and enter code TINY. That's 25% off up to a $10 value and zero delivery fees on your first order when you download the DoorDash app in the App Store, enter code TINY. Don't forget, that's code TINY for 25% off your first order with DoorDash. Subject to change, terms apply. See, people were mad at me because I said the lesbian line was sick. I was like, it actually was a kind of a sick line. Yeah, but... And you completely discounted the lesbian experience. I know. Which is offensive because that's your whole look. So the fact that you would look like a lesbian but disrespect them at the same time is inexcusable. It's Why are you guys laughing? Because <laughs> we know you have a strap on. on. Just I'm fine with that. <laughs> I'm fine with that. That's why I thought. How are you going to come in here, wear a strap on, <laughs> and then just denigrate the lesbian experience I by know. complimenting Drake? You it fucking wasn't moron! A sick line. It wasn't a sick line. It wasn't. You know. No, it's bad. It is bad because I realized like the way I took it was he's talking to. He's not trying to get with the lesbian, right? I think there's he a is. million ways you could interpret it. Yeah, I think he not is. Really. Though. I mean, he's definitely yeah. definitely intended for that to be it understood in one way. Definitely be horn definitely being horny. Yeah. Yeah. 
He's just he's just being horny. Yeah, saying stupid ass shit. Yeah, but yeah, I think I think the other thing. It's yeah. It's really not fair to say you can't have an opinion about something, but I think you're wasting your time to have like a deep opinion about Drake because mm-hmm. we know what it is. Yeah. It's been that for the last three hours. Well, speaking of you know cookie cutter manufactured assembly line content, yeah, Addison Ray signed a multi picture deal mm-hmm. with Netflix. This was just announced. So yeah. think about this. Like go to go to the um. By the way, congratulations. I'm sure she's fucking thrilled, right? She's yeah. probably made millions of dollars off this shit. I'm not going to hate on someone's success, but go to um, go to the Rotten Tomatoes for he's all that or she's all that or whatever. Wait, can I just really quickly make something clear? Yeah. Drake is the greatest rapper of all <laughs> Stop, time. Stop, <laughs> dude. <laughs> he's the best. And if you have a problem with that, you literally don't like music. I'd be so pissed at that if I wasn't already done caffeinating. Oh, yeah. But you're. But I'm caffeinated. You so. won't take the bait on that one. No. I can't bait you on that no. one. Well, you won't take the bait we'll that Drake away. is literally the best rapper ever. Like, literally the greatest artist ever. Oh, he's not, dude. If there's any piece of art that you think is better than Drake, burn it. <laughs> because he is literally the best. I think he's all that's better. Drake should have been in He's All That. That's the only way it could have been better. <laughs> I'm kidding, everyone. I don't fucking like Drake. Um, too sexy. Sorry, I actually kind of do like that. Song. I was I meant to joke earlier that you got your Big Mac while listening to "I'm Too Sexy." Yeah, making your shit clap. No, I'm eating it out. I'm eating it vertically. <laughs> you ever eat a burger vertically and just and just lick the cheese out of the middle? Yeah, always. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Don't shudder. What was that? Oh, oh. oh. <laughs> we need that sound on the soundboard. Oh. Can't tell if it grossed you out or made you hard. <laughs> Ugh. <laughs> it's like when they were murdering that fish with carrots on Twitter. You remember that? No. That fucking blowfish, like stuffing it full of carrots and makes the most <laughs> slutty what? sound. I shouldn't say slutty. That's not right. What? Is- but, but like they're jamming carrots in its mouth and it just goes like. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's not funny. <laughs> Poor thing was fucking dying too, right? Yeah, and they made it gag. Oh, wants some more. Yeah. All right. <laughs> they made its mascara run while killing it. Hey, he's it. enjoying it. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. Jesus. <laughs> it's so fucked up. It makes the worst sound. a couple more in there. I think it's fucking with it. <laughs> it's, oh. Is this it? We got it right here? Yeah, here we... No. No, what no. is this? Oh, is this the fish murder channel? I used to talk about this way early in the podcast. Yeah, here we go. Oh, no. Don't play us. We're going to get age restricted. Wait, is this it? Yes. Yeah, okay, it. yeah, never mind. Play it. This is dark. I don't I, actually want to see it. it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can you play it without us seeing it? Just wait for it. Oh. That was it. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, you like that? (laughs) You want another one? (laughs) That's not funny. (laughs) It's not funny. (laughs) It's not funny. <laughs> what do you mean animal cruelty? What do you mean? He's like he's he's liking it. <laughs> Only thing is cruel is what he did to that carrot. <laughs> <laughs> he throwed the fuck out of that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> <sighs> oh all right. <laughs> well, that's the pod. <laughs> you can just end it there. <laughs> That's the that's the sound that's the sound everybody made when they found out Addison Ray penned a sixty bajillion dollar deal. Yeah, look at this. So this is this is what I mean. Like we're, we live in a special time in history and mm-hmm. in entertainment where you can get like 
a 24% on your movie. Mm-hmm. And then two weeks later, sign a multi-picture deal with the same studio yeah. who put this one out. Yeah. They're like, we don't give a fuck. Yeah. You know why? It's not about making good art. It's about... Well, I mean, given a lot of Netflix recent productions, like, <coughs> can you really expect them to do much better? Mm-mm. Because no. I think they made the circle in all those reality shows and they were like, they looked at those budgets and thought, holy fuck, this is sick. Yeah, that's true. These shows cost $20 and they get this many subscribers. Yeah. 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 Hell yeah. yeah. We don't need to be A24. We need money. Yeah. yeah. No, that's a good point. That is Bro, a good point. she, so this movie actually trended number one in like a bunch of countries. <laughs> it pulled in so many signups for Netflix. Austin McBroom should have put her on the card. Maybe that would have saved them from, <laughs> from bankruptcy. <laughs> you know that dude is like up to 115 million in lawsuits? Yeah, I saw a YouTube thumbnail that said that. Yeah, I, I, so I actually watched um, a great recap. Content is getting so meta now, but I think it's the Wade concept. I think he does... Like he does a lot of fighting. I think he focuses on boxing content. Content, excuse me. Yeah, the Wade concept. So he did a little recap of a, a podcast where they, the manager of Gib and Deji discusses how he maneuvered that whole situation. And I don't know how this didn't occur to anyone. It was so genius. <clears throat> um, he looked at the structure for the payout and he goes, there's no way in hell. So he told Austin, he's like, oh, you want Gib and Deji? Um, <clears throat> you got to pay us up front. And Austin goes, okay, yeah, 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 sure. So then he goes and he sets up two escrow accounts. And then on the weigh-in day, he's like, my guys aren't weighing in unless you put all the money paid in full into those escrows right now. And so Gib and Deji are the only ones that actually got paid. No way. Uh-huh. How much did they get paid? He didn't disclose. Damn. Wow. But I don't Smart. think... You know, shout out to our lawyer, Spencer. Um, yeah, Spence. He, you know, he, I think he has the right theory. He doesn't think it's a lot of money because the way Deji and Gib kept talking about it was they kept reiterating, I'm not doing this for the money. I'm doing this because I want to be in it. So that would sort of indicate, you know, you contrast that with everyone else who's like, I don't care what happens to me. I'm getting a bag. Yeah. So. <clears throat> I so think you're saying the payout wasn't that much. Oh, probably yeah. wasn't that much, but yeah, yeah. at least they got it. <clears throat> yep. But I was just like, well, why the, these people's managers? Why wouldn't they do that? Why wouldn't they set up an escrow? Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. I mean, unless you know, you know Michael Gruen probably looked at that and was like, what's the point? Yeah. Like these guys probably aren't going to pay you either, either way. Yeah. So, but yeah, I mean, there's no way that they would pay them, you know, five million up front. No, because no, he no. didn't have that. Yeah. No. Addison Ray, congratulations. You know, it's good to see <clears throat> diversity. In, <laughs> good to see diversity in in the talent here at Netflix. I just watched a doc about fucking horribly fucked up documentary about some French woman who was killed in Ireland. Okay. <laughs> Shit was like... That's not funny. No, it's not. <laughs> I'm laughing because you go into this and you're like, there's going to be a payoff. No. It's one of those where you get to the end and you're like, well. Oh. <laughs> you're like, life's dark. Yeah. Um, it's I forget the name of it. Hold on. You see that tweet? God, I forget who it was, but it was like, <clears throat> um, it's like, it's crazy that serial killers in the 70s had no idea that they were just going around creating content. <laughs> How many Ted Bundy shits do we need? You saw they're making another I one? I know, I know. With the uh, Stop remaking shit. We don't care. <laughs> we don't care. We get it. He killed college girls. The Matrix now. Oh yeah. Come on. So the fan I'm kind yeah. of stuck for that, but yeah, the, come on. We don't need it. Stop <laughs> tarnishing the legacy of these wonderful franchises. Hey guys, we want to take another quick break to thank the sponsor of today's episode, stamps.com. <laughs> 
Are you going to the post office still? Yeah. Get with the program, dude. Are you okay. still paying full price for postage? Sometimes. What are you doing? I don't know. Listen, thanks to Stamps.com, you don't have to anymore. Mail and ship anytime, anywhere, right from your computer. Send wow. letters, ship packages, and gee, pay less. A lot less. With discounted <laughs> rates from U- USPS, UPS, and more. And more? Yes. Stamps.com saves businesses thousands of hours and tons of money every year. Stamps.com brings the services of the U.S. Postal Service and UPS right to your computer. Your own computer? Oh, yeah. Holy heck. It's a must-have for any business. Whether you're a small office sending invoices, a side hustle Etsy shop shipping out orders, or just navigating this hybrid work life, Stamps.com can handle it all with ease. No wonder over 1 million businesses choose Stamps.com for their mailing and shipping. With Stamps.com, you get discounts up to 40% off post office rates and up to 66% off UPS shipping rates. For me? Yeah, not to mention Stamps.com is a fraction of the cost of most of those expensive postage meters, is what I meant. Stamps.com is a no-brainer, saving you time and money. It's no wonder nearly 1 million small businesses already use Stamps.com. Stop wasting time going to the post office and go to Stamps.com instead. There's no risk, and with our promo code TMG, you'll get a special offer that includes a four-week trial plus free postage and a digital scale. No long-term commitments or contracts. Just go to Stamps.com, click on the microphone at the top of the homepage, and type in TMG. That's Stamps.com, promo code TMG. Stamps.com, never go to the post office again. Here's a TikTok clip right here, ready? Do you, want, do you know the fan theory for the new Matrix Resurrection movie? Dude, what is it, man? Okay, the theory is, in one scene in the trailer the original Matrix can be seen playing on a projector. So the thought is that Neo, the one, comes back and he's like an actor who played in a movie called The Matrix that's within The Matrix. And he keeps having these dreams about all these powers and his therapist is like, no, these are just in your head from doing the film. Turns out this motherfucker can actually do these things. And he is the one. That's the rough idea. Okay, hold on. You got super yeah, meta. You lost me. So meta. I didn't follow that at <clears throat> all. So in the trailer, got it. Okay, <laughs> it can be seen. Okay, in one scene, right? That the original Matrix yes. is playing on a projector. Got you. So he he was an actor and did that movie. Yes, with but within the this Matrix world that they're in is within the Matrix. Okay. So he's the one. He did a movie about the Matrix in the Matrix. Yeah, but he doesn't know that he's the one. You get, you get so me? coincidentally, he also just so happens to be the one. Yeah, and he also played the one in a movie. Yes, within the Matrix, where he was, he's also the one. So meta. That cannot be true. I mean, in the trailer, like he's like talking to a therapist. There's like someone who appears to be his agent. He like runs into Trinity and he's like, and she, he's like, hey, and she's like, do we know each other? And it's like clearly he knows her from his dreams and he's like reconnecting with all these people. And then there's like a rebooted Morpheus, something like that. That's lame. I know. I hope that's not true because that sucks. <clears throat> <laughs> you haven't even seen the movie yet. How can you have an opinion? <clears throat> yeah, Blue Pill. Yeah. Yeah. Sick. Yeah. Yeah, if that's what it is, I'm I'm already let down. I know. But I'm giving it a shot, you know, because I love The Matrix. <clears throat> We're just at a weird point uh, with entertainment. You see the the MTV Music Awards or the Video Awards, whatever, the VMAs? Uh-huh. It was like 30% less watched than last year. What was the stat? Yeah, it was like 60. Look at this. Scored less than a million viewers oh, on whoa. MTV, down 31%. Wow. No one, like, no one is, this is like the last year of this shit actually being, Irrelevant. I mean, it can't be profitable anymore, can it? It's an award show, but yeah, probably not. Um, yeah, I heard like 65% of the viewers were eating chicken nuggets while they watched it. <laughs> Just making up stats. <laughs> Wow, that's crazy. What do you yeah. think that says about the whole landscape? I'm not sure. I heard like 93% of the audience has feet. Really? Yeah, 7% are dogs. So Dogs paws. have feet? Or feetless dogs? No, they're dogs that have no legs. According to SoundScan, paws don't count as feet. <laughs> so it's like some old TV thing. Hmm. They won't count 
dogs as viewers. What do you call um, a cow with no legs? Ground beef. Nice. Thing. <clears throat> nice. Thank you. Or, oh. <laughs> Damn, thirty-one percent though is pretty, pretty rough. Le less than a million views. Less than a million people. Me and the VMAs have something in common. <laughs> Hit that one with a laugh too. Yeah. <laughs> There's a five second delay. Yeah. <laughs> um, hey, v VMAs, algorithm kicking your ass too? <laughs> it's been kicking mine too. YouTube yeah. is, I don't know, man. We're at a, we're at a to weird club. point yeah. in YouTube. I think it's dead. It's, I think it is too. I think it's dead. Not dead, but it's. It's on its it way. It can never be dead. Not fully dead, but it's just, you know, I started using TikTok like a search last night. I was trying to find stuff and it was coming up and it just made me think how um, habitual I think TikTok is. Yeah. <clears throat> and how, you know, like Lionsgate and all these studios and stuff cutting clips of their content and, you know, people uh, like Lionsgate cut out a clip of the business card scene from American Psycho. And all a bunch of people were commenting and having asking questions about the film. And what stuff. movie is this? Like uh, that? Yeah, thing? yeah, and or like what else happens? And what? No, no one was like just going to watch the movie. <laughs> there, it was just sort of like that sucks. Oh, I got that it. Sucks. Yeah, and they and it's like all cropped and like fucking portrait, so you don't really get the full effect of oh, the scene. Oh man, that's yeah. like damn. Mm -hmm. That's like today's version of watching a movie. Kind of, Just yeah. seeing a 15-second clip and then be like, hey, what else happens? Yeah. And then getting a reply to your comment mm -hmm. that says the rest of the film. Yeah. And I, I <clears throat> was even thinking, because I was going down my <clears throat> timeline, I was getting a bunch of honestly interesting stuff. I In like five minutes, I get a clip of some weird parasite snake at the bottom of the ocean. It's not a snake, but it's like, you know, some shit with like a bunch of teeth that can whatever. And then two clips later, it's this like dude who makes uh like m mal hardware demos so he like is showing this rfid scanner that you can order for a couple hundred bucks and he's demonstrating how he could swipe an access code or even a hotel room code and get into a door and all this crazy stuff and i thought about how that used to be the lore of youtube <clears throat> where you could go oh i can go on here and i can look at some crazy thing or watch Fall some crazy document. Hole. Yeah. Yeah. Now people do that on TikTok and everything is so truncated that I think even podcasting contributes to this in that with fighting, we get a ton of comments where people go, I don't give a shit about fighting, but I like hearing you guys just kind of boil it down for me. And so I think it's just this change in people where <clears throat> we're kind of content not seeing the whole thing. Yeah. So yeah, I think it makes YouTube weird because I think a lot of YouTube is sort of predicated on that, like people want to see the whole thing. And now I think that's where why Mr. Beast is at where he's at because he has to do the most extreme things to get people to go, all right, I'll give you 15 minutes. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I want to stop seeing on mm. my For You page? Mm. Fucking pimple popping videos. <laughs> stop putting that shit on my feed. I've never once watched the whole thing. I've, I've never even watched the pop. It grosses me out so fucking much, dude. Yeah, so gross. No way. You actually like those videos? No, no. Oh, my God. I honestly wonder because they all have a million likes. Who the fuck watches these? You sick fucks. <laughs> this is, like, sick. How do you not get that? This is in it's a human. It's an infection on a human skin. <laughs> You're sick. <laughs> <laughs> you are sick. Get help. Hot if you take. like those videos. <laughs> Hot. Dude, there was this one like, there's this one where the guy pops the pimple in like the first half a second, so you cannot, yeah, you cannot like skip it, Just, right? Ah. So I'm like scrolling down my feed and it's like cooking videos, cooking videos is all my feed is now. It's yeah. pimple popping and cooking videos, which is not a great combination. Hard of contrast, things, by the yeah. way. Yeah. 
So I'm like scrolling, scrolling. And you know like the self-censorship people have to do on TikTok to make your video not get like yeah. repressed or taken off? Mm -hmm. People just every single word you could ever imagine, you know? Yeah. And so, you know, somebody makes a sex joke and they, sex joke and they have to spell it SEGS. Yeah. S E double G S. And I'm like, that's so stupid. And then I scroll down, and I see pus just spring against a mirror. <laughs> and I'm like, how is this not more like fucked up than just reading the word sex? <laughs> Just human pus spraying against a mirror. A million going, likes. And the guy's going. smiling. And his what else happens? That's it. <laughs> yeah, I think it's, uh, it's what's wrong with this country. That is what's wrong. Is everyone's with interest in... Still it down to anything? <laughs> it's, the, it's the pus. It's, it's segs the, and then pus. Yeah. Hey, guys. We want to take another uh, quick break to thank another sponsor of today's episode, Mint Mobile. Ooh, that's minty. Yeah, that's minty, right? <sighs> Ooh, after years of fine print contracts and getting ripped off by big wireless providers, if we've learned anything, it's that there's always a catch. So when I first heard that Mint Mobile offers premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month, I thought, what's, what's the, catch? the catch? But after speaking with them and using their service, it all made sense. There isn't one. There isn't one? There's not one. Mint Mobile secret sauce is that they're the first company to sell wireless service online only by cutting out retail stores. There's no crazy overhead costs that get passed down to you in the form of mystery fees. Instead, Mint just passes on sweet savings direct to you. Take it from me, I use my Mint Mobile phone all the time. All plans come with unlimited talk and text plus high-speed data delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and keep your same phone number along with all your existing contacts. <laughs> if you're not 100% satisfied, Mint Mobile has you covered with their seven-day money-back guarantee. Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless service starting at just 15 bucks a month to get your new wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month and get the plan shipped to your door for free. Go to mintmobile.com slash TMG. That's mintmobile.com slash TMG. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash TMG. Maybe it's the algorithm Sags. just trying to like mix it up for you. It's like, yeah, you like kind of like wet content. <laughs> I don't know. Food is can be kind of yeah, wet. Yeah, I guess. I guess. Yeah. It's like you're a little bit, you know. I think that's what the TikTok algorithm is really good at trying to figure out. <clears throat> I think the algorithm is really geared to try to drag you into the into the smut. You know, like you'll be scrolling and then they just they just throw a little something in your in your ear like like my my shit is all weird you know 23rd century memes that don't make sense you know, i'll just be scrolling there'll be like a cheeseburger with like i'm sexy back and like the four bit <laughs> and then it'll just cut to that turtle being like <laughs> and then it's the fucking blowfish <laughs> uh, uh, <laughs> then someone running really fast and there's like the cartoon <laughs> like fucking bowling pin sounds and shit It'd be like other random stuff. And then, you know, it will just like be something so randomly horny. And I always feel like it's just trying to be like, you want to mix it up? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's almost like the Netflix, you still there, but with like a Pornhub injection. Yeah. Like imagine at the end of every, like every other Netflix show, it just propagated a soft core. Yeah. It's like, what time is it? You feeling, feeling something a little different? Yeah. <laughs> They know how to massage the right areas of your brain. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, now you're hungry. Yeah. Damn, these video cooking videos. I'm so hungry. And then it's like, oh, now you're horny. Yep. How about that? Oh, geez. Yeah. And then, oh, now you're fucking disgusted. Here's pus spraying against a mirror. <laughs> and then a dog. And, and then, like, oh, wait, a cute dog. Oh, wait. Oh, oh, now you're in love with the dog. Yeah. I love dogs. Now you want to eat the dog. Rin you hungry? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you hungry? Now you want to eat it, probably. <laughs> no, no, oh. I don't want to eat it. Here's a here's a video of a dog getting kicked off a bridge. <laughs> oh no, no! Now you're scared. <laughs> no, poor dog. Rinse, repeat. Back to the food. Yeah. Now you want to fuck the dog? Oh you God! Again? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's on there, man. I'm sure there's animal abuse and all kinds of shit on there. There's just you know, it's just maybe it's the algorithm like saying get off. You know? No. You've been watching cooking videos for 30 minutes and then it's like, here's a pimple. Yeah. You're like, oh, gross. And it's like, yeah, exactly. What are you doing? No, nah, I think- it, your job? No, I think it's like a, it's like supposed to zap you and then it, you get back into the cycle. 
you're like, oh, I need a hundred more TikToks to wash that out of my face. Yeah. Or my brain. Um, ben actually sent me this really uh, pretty well-designed article. It was very like web, like o- like not OpenGL, but it was it was sick. Like you would scroll and it would have like, you know, TikTok scroll by with like little sound bites. And they basically created a bunch of bots and all the bots were, their accounts were aged 13 to 15. And they had a set experiment where the bots would engage certain behaviors. So like one of them on the first day, it liked one TikTok and it observed one TikTok that was um, about weed. And then on day two, it liked, or no, I don't even think it liked it. I think it just observed it. On day two, it observed another TikTok about um, a marijuana cake. And then they laid out this grid of like the first frame of all the TikToks it had seen. And then it highlighted all the ones that ended up being like really dark, like how to take psychedelics, what psychedelics to take, what psychedelics do to you, how to grow them. It's just, you know, just the rabbit hole going deeper and deeper. And it ended up being like 67% of like a thousand TikToks or something. So it was just like off those two, it just progressively at a very accelerated rate, just started ramming drug content. Wow. That's down crazy. like the bots like feed. Yeah. And then, <clears throat> then they did I it mean, with- It's not surprising, but I, I feel like TikTok does it more aggressively than anyone else. Yeah. Like we're so focused on Facebook mm-hmm. and uh, I don't know, like YouTube mm-hmm. doing that stuff. Like that's what the social network was about, right? Yeah. Is those two primarily. Yeah. And just like the recommendation engine. But TikToks is on steroids. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Their shit is crazy. It's really insane. It, it did it with sex as well. And- and um Segs, you mean? Segs, yeah. Segs, yeah. That didn't even matter because then it just kind of spiraled into <clears throat> BDSM and and like you know really sort of advanced, yeah, like like you know, se- like advanced sexual like interests, you know, like stuff that you may may discover over time. Yeah, you know, it's like, but I think the the main crux of the article was like, dude, these accounts are registered as thirteen to fifteen years old. Yeah, how is there no regulation and then or sort of monitoring and then the crazier part from that is they're kind of pointing out peripherally oh wait the accounts were 13 to 15 yeah and still it got, they were promoting mm-hmm. drug use yeah sex sex that stuff, wow yeah. damn and, and then something that they kind of sidebarred was like you know some of these some of these tiktoks were like yo i grow mushrooms and if you want to buy mushrooms but you can't get them <laughs> like click the link in my bio and then this person is like offering ways to get it. And if you couple that with kids like knowing how to use crypto and stuff, you know, it's not to say that kids don't try drugs, but fuck all, man. Like, I don't think it was that easy, you know, mm. back in the day, maybe depending on who you are. But then similarly, you know, uh, OnlyFans creators are like obviously there like promoting what they do. And um, there's nothing inherently wrong with that. But the idea that a 13 year old could just be fed basically two out, of, two out of every three TikToks is like something really sort of beyond what they really understand. It's fucking nuts. Huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's wild. Yeah. Yeah, I keep thinking like, you know, th- but then it has positives, you know, like I, I look at this comedian like uh, Nimesh Patel. He, he has like a TikTok where someone asked him like, oh, how's TikTok changed your life? And he was like, you know, I, uh, a couple months ago, I didn't have any dates booked and now I have like a full tour booked and uh, like it's done great things for me. So it, there is like definitely positivity to using it, but at what cost? I don't know. I think it's murdering everything else. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. (laughs) Sorry. Tangent as fuck. No, that was, that was really interesting. I would love to see more reverse engineering of the algorithm. Yeah. See exactly how it works and dark shit yeah man. it really is how do you feel about youtube are you inspired these days yeah i mean i don't know i'm making a lot more shit than i used to yeah just because i just wanted to see what happened you mm-hmm. know like yeah. just, just by posting regularly like three two three times a week mm-hmm. i mean it hasn't really affected anything mm-hmm. like i'm making more money now but like my subscribers haven't gone up my views have kind of stayed the same mm-hmm so I kind of was thinking like that's the way to compete with TikTok and with everything. It's just like post as much as you can because like 
I mean, or the other way is like treat it like John Tron does where it's like you spend a lot on one video so that yeah. it's guaranteed people will, you know, be excited to watch it. But I don't know. I don't, I don't fucking know, dude. I've never known what the fuck I've yeah on YouTube. Yeah. I mean, I, I experimented the same thing this past month with uploading a lot and it, it kind of, it just murdered me. So now I have no idea what to do. Um, no, but I think it goes through like these. That I mean, as well. It's it like does, it's, but... it's such a it's such a toss up. Like you don't know. Yeah. Like, you could keep that up, and then your next month could be insane. That's kind of the point of posting a lot. I feel like is you find one that hits, mm -hmm. and then you can do that multiple times. Yeah. And like not milk it necessarily. Like still focus on making it good. But I mean, you saw with your TikTok one, out of pocket TikTok. That's like literally the only thing I can get to get recommended. Right. Some, some, I read this comment. This dude was like, I'm fucking tired of all these commentary creators just leaning on TikTok. This shit is so fucking lazy. And I was like, well, you know, I tried making a car into a desk and I tried making a game show. And <laughs> I tried like some interview content. I even fucking picked up like a hobby of racing and like it just doesn't give a fuck. So <laughs> yeah. here I am with out of pocket TikTok seven. Like, what do you want me to do? I know it's, it's, I get it. Like, yeah. I would be pissed too if the only thing that's getting recommended to me is like, have you fucking made nine of these? Do you do anything else? It's that's the other part that frustrates me. But also everything to give commentary on, like gonna, nobody is doing anything except for on TikTok. Yep. It's where everybody nobody's trying to be a YouTuber anymore. No. You know? No, no one's doing anything on Instagram anymore. It's all TikTok. I think so that, it's like, yeah, we're gonna make commentary videos. Yeah. 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 I also feel that there's this interesting thing with TikTok where you see them all, like all the kids that blew up on it. There is a ceiling, you know. That's why Charlie's like, and the you know Demilio's are trying to go to traditional TV and music and other stuff. I, it's this weird shit where they get big and then they want to transfer over to YouTube, but then they know everyone's on TikTok, and it just becomes like, I think there's just going to be a power vacuum where someone's going to create something where everyone goes, "Yes, this is what we want," and I think YouTube, TikTok, I think all of it will just get like flattened in the mm -hmm. process. It just feels like that that is coming. Like, I don't know what it is, but maybe it's global warming. Hey guys, we want to take another quick break to thank a sponsor of today's episode, ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN? Yes, that's right. <laughs> Using the internet without ExpressVPN is like taking a call on a train or a bus on speaker for everyone to hear. No! Yep. You don't know who has access to your most private sensitive information. So I'll say what I'd say to anyone putting a private call on speaker on public transport. Hey! Don't be that person. <laughs> Here's why I use Express. Shut the fuck up. Okay. Oh, sorry. No, go ahead. Here's why I use ExpressVPN. Internet service providers know every single website you visit. And in the U.S., they can legally sell this information to ad companies and tech giants who then use your data to target you. You filthy little... <laughs> <laughs> We know you're being a pesky little deviant online. You wouldn't want that information sold, would you? No, you wouldn't. To Congress, especially. Yeah. You want some old men knowing what kind of hentai favorites you have? No, sirree. No. ExpressVPN creates a secure encrypted tunnel between your device and the internet so people can't peep on your online activity. Whoa, my tunnel just got encrypted. Exactly. They'll <laughs> encrypt your tunnel anytime. Just fire up the app, click one button, and your tunnel gets encrypted. It works on phones, laptops, and even routers. So everyone who shares your tunnel, I mean, your Wi-Fi can be protected. Secure your online activity and your tunnel today at expressvpn.com slash TMG and get an extra free three months. Oh, that's E-X-P-R-E-S-S-V-P-N.com slash TMG. Expressvpn.com slash TMG. Secure your internet browsing, and most importantly, secure your tunnel. <laughs> yeah. And it just flattens. Dude, speaking of which, did you see... Actually, this is kind of a good segue. Uh, speaking of ceilings, TikTokers getting out of TikTok and global warming yeah. at the same time. Yeah. Do you see that company that Josh Richards, his VC firm, Animal Capital, is investing in? No. It's called Colossal. Uh, it actually sounds familiar. They're, they're trying to bring back the woolly mammoth. <laughs> sick. It is fucking sick. That's crazy. Yeah. Is that not sick? No. It's It, it makes me laugh more because... I was like, oh, that's, sorry. In like, in my new set, I started like writing this bit about reanimation. Okay. Like how that's on the way. So like to know that that fucking exists, 
is awesome. Reanimation? Yeah. Like I was thinking like, <laughs> I don't want to like spoil too much, but okay. basically the idea, like, could you imagine if just like this, you know, they just start digging people back up and they're like, well, we can bring them back. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. This yeah. one though, they like, they're genetically modifying a living species of elephant oh, okay. to withstand super cold temperatures. And then- I guess the idea is that um, when these were alive, it's like not as much methane was being released from the ice because it doesn't melt as fast because they're killing something that melts the ice. Something like, I don't know. I see. Some fucking, you know, ecosystem type shit. I don't know. I'm not a scientist, but. This is what, this is what it's come to, to save the environment. Yeah. No one will buy the $400,000 golf carts and they will not let go of their Chevys. Yeah. Let's bring back the woolly yep. myth. My whole thing, though, my whole thought on this was if you're going to genetically modify it and bring it back, why not give it the head of like a penguin <laughs> for a shark? Logan Paul clones this fucking project. <laughs> We're making the Paguk for real. I was going to say this is going to replace uh, French bulldogs. <laughs> Influencers are going to be running to get a piece of this and be like, <laughs> yeah, me and my woolly mammoth. Woolly mammoth walking down Melrose <laughs> on a leash. <laughs> <laughs> just stomping on cars and shit. Yeah, just just like in the middle of the crowd at Coachella. <laughs> killing hundreds of people. Just fucking pick. impeding on the Grove. <laughs> just in front of the Apple store with their fucking woolly mammoth. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> so dumb. <laughs> That's crazy. So when's the first one gonna touch down? Is there like a waiting list? <laughs> Is it like a supreme drop? Like can you like can you like get in and get one of them or um or they're just trying to do one? I think they're just trying to make one right now. It said within five years, they said. They're gonna try and I mean it's so it's so cool, is it not? No, it is this cool. some Jurassic Park shit. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah, that's all that's left to like make all of the mo the great movies we know and make them for real, you know? Yeah. After this it'll be dinosaurs, they'll make a real dinosaur park. Yeah, what if we were just like oh, fucking leave them in the ground, dude? <laughs> you know, you're tarnishing their legacy. <laughs> Stop bringing shit back. Stop <laughs> remaking shit. <laughs> Everyone's always trying to do these shitty sequels, dude. It's dead. <laughs> we knew about the Woolly Mammoth. It's over, fool. Over, dude. Make a new oh, one. Gives a fuck. <laughs> Make a liger. We're bringing back sake. the Woolly Mammoth, but this time starring Josh Richards, <laughs> <laughs> which is basically what that is. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know what's gonna happen, bro? We're gonna like society's gonna reset. And we're going to be sent back into the ice age. And as a society, we're going to have to vote who carries on our legacy. That's what it's going to be. Mm. And then we're all going to like, everyone's going to have to campaign as to why they should be one of the 200 that are frozen to restart humanity. And Josh is in the front running. I see. Well, I mean, he, did, he, invested in this he did invest in the woolly mammoth. Yeah, I mean, yeah. he kind of, kind of deserves to be here, yeah. man. He got, so that's what we need to do. Yeah. We need to invest or create something for the future. Well, we're we're that's why we're cloning them. That's very that's true. That's why. Yeah. So that when that all this shit goes to hell down there, if they don't make it, we still have one. Exactly <laughs> to to <laughs> dance for us. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, do the whoa. Yeah. Ow! Ow! <laughs> Get that old Josh up here. <laughs> Come on, it, buddy. Do the do do a dance. Do something. Come on, man. You remember you remember the whip. Come on, Come on bro. Well, nay, nay, maybe. You know what also makes me kind of cringe is when I hear people, you know, sort of like mainstream television people talk about TikTok. They always refer to it as like whatever stupid dance you're doing or whatever. It's like it's not that. It's a very, very evolved and mature application. There's so many different types of content on here. Oh, yeah. To just reduce it to, oh, it's just like kids dancing. It's not really That's accurate. That's what it used to be. Yeah. Four years ago. You know that comment everyone leaves like, oh, this used to be a music app? Yeah. I was thinking about two people meeting off of a comment section. Section? Section. Section. A comment section. And fucking. And then 
this dude's getting the shit blown and he's like damn and to think this used to be a music app <laughs> fuck <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> How'd you guys meet? Well, he commented a bunch of chairs, and it was this meme at the time where <laughs> we weren't using the laughing emojis, and we were just using chairs. Yeah. And, and I was like, oh, my God, you're so funny. I mean, I know everyone had done the joke, but... <laughs> so I DM'd him some chairs, and he sent some back. I blew him. Next thing you know... And to think it used to, to be, be a music, music app. app. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Mommy, Daddy, how did you guys meet? We met on a music app. <laughs> well, what used to be a music app. <laughs> <laughs> Cooking over a gas burning stove, which is like fucking rare in 2060. Because <laughs> gasoline's illegal as fuck. Fucking woolly mammoths everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a hundred woolly mammoths <laughs> within, <laughs> within like 200 yards of them. That that becomes our new god. This experiment goes horribly wrong. <laughs> no, it's just they make ten thousand of yeah, them. It becomes yeah. our new gopher. Yeah, or like squirrel or whatever. Yeah, just they're just fucking everywhere. Yeah, and then everyone worships the mammoths. They don't, you know, utmost respect for the mammoths. It's like, mommy, daddy, where did the mammoths come from? <sighs> well, that's why we believe in Josh. <laughs> Josh I'm, becomes the new uh, Jesus. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The leader of the mammoths. Yeah, leader of the mammoth world. Josh Richards. They bring him with like a gigantic stick. Yeah. Like fucking uh, Gandalf. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Gandalf had a stick, right? Yeah. You mean Gandilf? Gant nice. <laughs> exactly. Our, ga our, our Gandilf. Josh Richards, our Gandilf. <laughs> who's that? Who's Mommy, who's that leading the mammoths? That's Gandilf. That's Gandilf. <laughs> There's like a hundred mammoths behind him. Yeah. <laughs> He's just walking through the snow. <laughs> Josh still skinny as shit. <laughs> this way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and to think, and just to think, this all okay. came from a music, music. app. <laughs> Damn, bro. Fucking hell. I was kind of thinking it'd be funny if the mammoths were like pests. Like if they just over, if they just fucked it up oh, so. and they just started fucking like crazy and just reproducing like rabbits. So they're just everywhere. So then there's a sitcom about mammoth removal and. Yeah, they're just everywhere. People are like pushing them over. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> Falls over. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. And to think this all started from a music game. <laughs> I mean, that's that you Josh could be Richards. said about that. You look at, you know, if you look at Josh Richards, you like know, Josh Richards, the mammoth whisperer. Yeah, the mammoth whisperer. <laughs> if you look at Gandil five years ago, and he's like fixing his hair to, you know, Avril Lavigne or whatever the fuck, you know, pitch down Avril Lavigne sample, mashed up with CeeLo, you know, I'm crazy. Yeah, and to know that he was gonna invest through a VC company and recreating the woolly mammoth. <laughs> what the fuck, dude? <laughs> what is going on? Yeah. It's crazy. That is the simulation theory right there. I mean, mm -hmm. there's no, you know, that's that's a as good of a piece of evidence as we have. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. We should just end it. Kill ourselves? Not like that. Oh, what do you mean? We should just blow the, the ship up. Oh, yeah, okay. You know, there's nothing left for us down there. Yeah. And it's not going to get any better, so. Well, what could, what could we bring back? Because, like, you know, for every Uber, there's a Lyft. Yeah. You know, for, for every, every TikTok, there's a Triller. Yeah. You know, what could we bring back? They're bringing back the Woolly Mammoth. For every what She's else? All That, like there's the He's All That. Uh, we could bring the, back the Dingo. Dingo. Dingo would be kind of. Amelia Earhart. Okay. <laughs> We should find her plane. Okay. And bring it back. Okay. Be like, we have, you know, this great plane was lost in the Bermuda Triangle. So we're bringing it back so we can all, re that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> Rest in peace. Um, what could we bring back? <clears throat> I meant species wise. Okay. What's something cool that's extinct? That's not a dinosaur? 
Yeah. What if we bring back like a niche microbe, just something kind of fucking lame? Yeah, like a cell, like just a, or like a deep sea fish, like one that you never even see. I think even smaller, it's just like a, yeah, yeah, yeah. are you talking like a, you know, like a pre-shrimp? Yeah. It's just like a underwater worm <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that feeds off of fucking fish poop. It's blind, like it can't. Yeah. It just works off a weird scent. Yeah. We're like, no one knows about these yeah. species, but they went extinct and it's important we bring them back. <laughs> We're just selling them in cans. Everyone's like, what does it do? Just eat shit. <laughs> like a poop worm. Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> Looks cool in a necklace. <laughs> what is this? Is this the dodo bird? Oh, oh. dodo bird. That's mm. a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. These little fuckers. We should make the first Pikachu. Like if we could have a real like Pokemon. Mm -hmm. Yeah, make a like oh, we should make Pokemon for real. Yeah, okay. Some like I think Pikachu in real life would be fucking feral. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah. if you can shoot electricity bolts and stuff, yeah. it's it's probably disgusting yeah. and really off putting. Yeah. We should make like and like super like not into humans. Yeah. Like really mean. Yeah. Yeah. Like a really mean wreck. Just, sorry, he's not friendly. Yeah. Yeah. We, no, no, sorry, he's not friendly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I picture it like a rabbit. Yeah, he's like a little <sighs> Yeah. Yeah. I think I think it's a rabbit, but it's got like joker scars around its mouth. Mm -hmm. Like and it's got way too many teeth. Yeah. And the electricity bolts aren't like full up bolts. It's just like when you touch it, it creates like low grade voltage. Yeah. So you're like, ah, oh, fuck. fuck. Yeah. And if you grab it with two hands, you'll feel it through your heart for like yeah. a second. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's good. Make a make a million of those. <clears throat> Cut them loose. Pokemon Go. <laughs> <laughs> go catch them all. <laughs> we need it. It's gonna be bad. These these whoever did these are they got them right. Oh, could you imagine? You'd want to step on that thing, I, I imagine. That would freak you out. Yeah. Oh, did we go to the Doug Trio. Yeah. <laughs> that is horrific, bro. <laughs> That's we should so make scary. We should make a hundred million of those. It looks like a human. Oh, dude. Oh. Yeah, that is sick. Breed a gopher with And you can pop them and pus sprays out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God, dude. Genetically infuse these with like hillbilly DNA. <laughs> so they're like kind of like burly. And what if that thing, what if like a. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> That's, <laughs> That's just what I never thought of that. That's too what much they're doing. Friend, bro. Yeah. <laughs> just the boys hanging out damn that's doug trio no nah, no nah, go back i like i like the yeah feral gopher shit i hate that we should we should make these like um saw style like we should take three uh three <laughs> gophers enhance them with like some kind of food and then stitch them all together so that they like merge together jesus christ yeah disgusting but pokemon go <laughs> gotta catch them all Oh man. Yeah. Those are rough. That's what we're gonna bring back, guys. Oh my god, the mankey. Yeah, that is scary. I wouldn't fuck with that. That one. Oh Jesus. I would not Christ. mess with that. Why didn't Logan Paul steal these? Yeah, these are fucking way better. Yeah, he's an idiot. Didn't search nearly hard enough. If you're gonna rip off some art, like at least rip off good art. Well, I guess if they're, they're then they're not stock images. Yo, what's that seal one? I don't even know the name of that thing. Sea King, scroll up. That thing in the middle. No, go to the left of this. Yeah, that is disgusting. Why do they put so much juice on his tongue? <laughs> what is that? Uh, is that cum? <laughs> <It's> <laughs> Damn. I'm not even gonna <laughs> I gotta leave that alone that is crazy yo this dude is this dude 
Got this down. These are sick. Yo, that fucking, uh, all the way to the left, that clam with the tongue out, that shit is so sexual too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, cloister. That's what that shit is. Never make that Pokemon. What's the guy's name? Joshua Dunk? Dun Dun Dunlop. Dunlop. Joshua, Joshua Dunlop. Dunlop. He made these. They're fucking sick. Yeah. Great job, dude. Credit, man. It's, how long do you spend making these? There's so many. Did you do every single Pokemon? I think so. These are dope. Let's see that. I mean, uh, come on. Yeah. Omastar? Hmm? That, that's the name. It was on the right-hand side. What was it? Omastar. Oh. Omastar, these nuts in your mouth? Nice. These are sick. It would be dope if they made a Pokemon game that was like photorealistic like this. Yeah. This person creepy yeah. shit. That's scary. That is fucking creepy. <laughs> I would kick the fuck out of that. It wouldn't matter because your foot would go in it and he'd just look at you and start to clone you. Oh, yeah. He'd start to turn into you. Yeah. And, okay. then, and then you would look. It'd be like some Matrix shit and your foot would be in the dick of you. <laughs> and then he'd pull your foot out and your fucking crotch would just shoot out like an inflatable. Like, he just butt ass naked you, and you're like, "What?" With a way bigger dick. Yeah, <laughs> you're like, "What? How? Wow, what, dude? That's not fair!" It starts beating the fuck out of you. Wait, how do I get that? <laughs> Can I do that to you? <laughs> and then starts beating the shit out of you. Is that yeah, what you're yeah, <laughs> kicks the shit out of you to a pulp <laughs> and replaces you in your life. <laughs> but like a way better you. Yeah. Fucking <laughs> damn, that's dark as fuck. Why is there not a spin off movie of Ditto's just <laughs> like that? Is so scary, like just that's becoming so people. Scary. Oh, Jesus, that is sick. That is sick. That is scary as fuck. I, oh, the back of Pincer <laughs> should look like some rocks. It should look like he just blends in and then he just stands up oh, looking no. like that. <laughs> Dope. Yeah, we need to make the Pokemon horror movie. Yo, that Chansey, that thing is disgusting, bro. Go to the left. <laughs> ah. Oh, that's so gross. Ah, oh, I want to pop it. It's like. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. I want to go like this. <laughs> oh, his face. Right? Yeah, sort of, yeah. I just want to. Sort of. A, well, sort of because like. I don't think I'd be satisfied. Man, that looks like that cookie you get when you get like Chinese takeout with the with the single almond in it. You know what I'm talking about? No. That like shortbread cookie with the almond in it? Hold on. Hold on. People in New York, you know what I'm talking about. What I it? hate I hate this thing. Damn, shout out to Joshua Dunlop, yeah, bro. I'm thoroughly creeped out. Making good art. Oh, that one's cute. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> All right, scared again. <laughs> I have to find, yeah, come Go on. Go with the tongue? <laughs> no, no, no. The, <clears throat> the one in the middle. Just scroll down. Yeah, yeah, that one. Go to the one with the tongue? Dang. This sounds so bad. Dang. Holy shit. What no. that tongue do? That shit is, is literally called a lick of tongue. <laughs> Man, come on. I'm looking up Chinese almond cookie <laughs> and I'm striking out. Should we go to the bone zone? Yeah, I guess so. All right. Um uh momenthouse.com slash tiny meat gang. Yeah, buy a ticket. <clears throat> we're gonna be there. Uh we're you know, we're bringing in a woolly mammoth as a guest. Yeah. Um then we're gonna shoot it, and we're gonna kill it. The only ones <laughs> that we're, gonna bring, we're gonna bring in. We're gonna have the only Josh Richards mammoth. bring the only woolly mammoth up to the ship, and we're gonna, and we're kill, gonna it kill it, as it live on set. Yeah. So um, no, we're joking. We're not gonna do that. We are gonna kill it performance wise. It's gonna be a great time. Show up. Um, should we just tell them what we did? Fuck it. I was yeah. trying to make something up. Or, yeah, okay. Well, it'll be in the You'll trailer. See. Yeah, you You'll will see, see the trailer. See. We did some pro wrestling. Yeah, there you go. And it was sick. There you go. What? Wound it. No, I'm kidding. Not it really. Was insane. Literally insane. I'm still sore from it, honestly. Mm -hmm. so. Uh, and so that's... Momenthouse.com slash Tiny Meat Gang. Yep. Momenthouse.com slash Tiny Meat Gang. Moment see you House. guys there. October, tw you know, 
whenever it is. When is it? October 14th, October 5 14th, p.m. Pacific, 5 PM Pacific Standard, time. Standard Time. Available for 24 hours mm-hmm. after. So if you're in a different country, you can watch it when you wake up the next day. And if you bought a ticket before, you get a little discount. Yeah. So I wouldn't sleep on that. All right, gang. We'll see you in the bonus. Peace.